Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Check out my wife's channel on the little eye on the top right over there. And my other channel as well. So go, if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, keep watching. So this video is going to be about uh, moving the light around where you want it to be. Because sometimes you want to move your light. Eventually, we're going to uh, add a little model that shows where the light is. We might do that this video or not. I'm not sure. And also, we're going to fix a little issue that we have with the uh, model loader, the object loader. So we're going to go fix those things. Let's start off with the issue. So open your object loader.h. Also, I want to apologize for my voice. Uh, it's a little off and my throat is tight and I'm very sick. So I'll do my best. Uh, but what we're doing wrong here is I, I just want you to look at this while loop. So we're getting one line at a time from the file, which is slow enough as it is. And just click on this one and follow this line down. And look at this command right here, this line right here. Now we're rebuilding the vertex for the amount of indices each time we're reading a line in this loop. So the mistake I made is I kept this within this for loop. Remember, this line is within the for loop. And this is the end bracket for the for loop. So all of this should actually be outside this end bracket. So just control X all of that and put it outside. Now we will build the final vertex array and we will Go ahead and load in all this and also print out how many vertices we have. And now you'll notice it's a lot faster in loading in your teapot that we have. So you just run this and make sure that everything compiles, runs. Okay, so that was almost instantaneous. I want to, want to remind you also why we're not seeing textures on these is because in the fragment shader, we did a little change, temporary change, where we just make sure the color is the only thing visible, not the texture, because I don't want the textures to be visible on the teapot since I don't have texture positions or a good texture for it. So save your object loader and keep it as it is. I did add a few objects here. So I got some objects from my friend Shadow uh, from Discord. He's an admin there and he made two things. So he made a lightsaber and a dice. I'm not sure if he made these, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he made the dice at least or whatever. Uh, but he had these object files. And we're going to load these in. And these are both bigger. So you can see 40,000, 40 megs. And this is 9 megabytes. And then we have a very nice smooth sphere here, which I made in Blender a long time ago. As you can see, 2018, uh, which is 111 megabytes. So we're going to try to load these up and see how that goes. First, so let's start off with that. Go to your game. Go to where you are initializing your models. And you'll see that we're loading teapot right here. I'm going to load my or shadows dice here, the dice object. I'm going to just load that up and you'll see it'll take a little more time, but it's not too bad. Uh, it will be like this for a little while, but your object loader should load it pretty fast. And you'll see the dice in here uh, and it's kind of blurry, but it, it does look nice. Look at these dice. They look pretty nice. Now the light is over here somewhere. Okay. And that's the, that's the issue. That's why you can't really move the light. You can't really do anything. Uh, but the dice look pretty nice. I think they're, they have a texture on them. Uh, not a texture. What do you call it? A, a mapping, a specular map from the other texture. So that's why they're looking like they are anyway. Uh, so we have the dice. Now we're just going to do the L saber dot object. And we're not going to load the smooth sphere up just yet. It's a little too smooth for this channel, a little too huge as well. Uh, but this is going to take a little longer. There we go. Okay. So that's cool. So we have our lightsaber here, which is rendering pretty nice. So you'll see it has this kind of a specular map as well, because I didn't remove the texture, but it looks pretty cool on this one. It looks pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, this is a lightsaber. I'd say it looks pretty cool. You can just fly around here. Look at all the details. Now the issue is we can't move our light. So that's the next thing we're going to do here. And I also need to check if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Good. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and move our light. Now, the first thing we need to do for that is to go into our update input uh, function, which should be here, update input. And you'll see we have a update mouse input function. So we'll go to that update mouse input. 
We haven't really tested this yet for any buttons, but I'm gonna be a little quick and I'm gonna copy paste this. Uh, move a light. And then we're gonna use this GLFW function, get a mouse button, okay? And there is a, uh, there is an enum for that, GLFW mouse button one. And we'll check if it's pressed. If it is, we're gonna go ahead and move our light. So let's just recap what a light is right now. We have a bunch of lights in our game.h as a vector uh, right now. So they're just vector threes in a vector. And we're creating new lights as we're going on. So we just have one light right now. We do init lights. Let's go to init lights and just check that. Just so you are recapped in it. Textures, blah, 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 in it glue. In it, this should be here somewhere. In it lights, okay. So we're just adding one light here. That's pretty much what we're doing. Let's make sure we're removing those as well. Lights, yeah, okay. I don't know why I did it like this. I'm not sure why I made it a pointer, but whatever, that's me. Uh, I don't know why you're watching my videos, but here we are. So this light is being pushed back and it has just a simple position here. What I wanna do is when I click, I want this light to be in the position where my camera is at that moment. So it was a very simple fix. What you do here is you go this, lights at position zero, my first light, uh, equals okay and this needs to be dereferenced because it's a pointer remember that don't forget the dereference here or you're gonna get an issue this camera dot get position boop easy as that okay very very easy now the only issue is let's recap this as well let's go into our update uniforms function which should be up here somewhere, game okay, update uniforms. There's something missing here, which is in up in it, uh, in it uniforms. So you'll see we have all this stuff here and projection matrix and all that stuff we're updating, but we're not updating the light positions, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and update this in here as well. So let's just update camera position and then we will update our uh, light positions. And remember, this has been set by by that uh, click, the mouse click, or it will be set. So I'll have my light as soon as this loads at a certain position, okay? But once I click, it will change that position. So you see it's changing as soon as I click. So I can see the back side of this of this object and I can put it up top, I can put it anywhere, the light will be wherever I want to put it. And it doesn't really have a, a fade away effect as of yet. So we're going to add that as well. It just has a, a circle, kind of a, what do you call it, diameter, where it just puts light everywhere. It doesn't matter where it is, it will just throw light everywhere. So that's cool. Now you can move your light around. Obviously I want a little object on that so I can see where the light is. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little light class so we can just go ahead and do that before we end the video. Let's make a header file, add new item, header file, call it light, add. And it's gonna be a very simple class which is going to contain a few things. Okay, light, and we're gonna be able to create it with an object, obj file, we'll load it, or we'll create it some other way uh, without that. So you can choose, kind of. And we're gonna have our own little thing here, um, glm, oh, we don't have all that. Let's see, light, let's go to game. So what we do in libs, okay, that's how I did it before. So I had the libs thing going and the camera. So light include libs. You know what you should do, guys and girls? For uh, projects that are getting this big, 
don't use this libs type thing use a stdfx uh, precompiled header thing which is a lot nicer so yeah just do that we'll we'll change this up as we go position and then we'll have maybe something else glm vec3 color whatever whatever you want we'll we'll add stuff to this as we go in the next video but for now you have your object loader finished you can load in different objects shout out to shadow as well real nice thanks so much shadow for taking care of the discord and also supplying me with some assets to load guys so and he's helping you guys out so you probably know who he is amazing guy works hard all that so yeah thanks man uh, anyway check out the description box check out other stuff on my channel also the other channels i'm linking to the top right i check that out and drop a like subscribe if you like the content thanks so much take care see you in the next one right bye bye